In this video, we're going to look at the graphing calculator and this formula right here, which is the binomial cumulative distribution formula. We're going to look at it for um, certain values of k, and we're also going to explore how to generate a table of a whole bunch of binome CDFs. So in this video, we'll look at a sample problem. Fair coin starts 100 times. What's the probability that there will be at most 40 heads? So what does that mean? That means we're looking at the probability of getting uh, 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 all the way up to 40 heads. And that's the binome CDF function. And we can do that fairly quickly on a graphing calculator. How do we do that? Let's take a look. So we hit second variables. And I go to alpha B, it's choice B on this list. That's my binomial CDF, and whatever the first number I enter will be the number of trials, which in this case is 100. We're tossing a coin 100 times. The value of getting a head is 0.5. The number of heads we're looking at is 40. And we hit enter, enter, and we're going to get an answer. We get about a 2.8% chance of getting at most 40 heads. So um, that's the first part. But what if I wanted to know the probability uh, cumulative distributive, the binomial cumulative distribution function values uh, for different values of heads? The probability of getting up to at most zero heads, or at most one head, or at most two, or three, or four, or at most 90 heads, right? How do I get a list to do that? Well, I go to second stat, and then the first thing I'm going to do is go to my ops and get a sequence. It's choice number five right there is my sequence, so I click five. And I'm just going to make a sequence where my expression is expression x. That's also my variable. And I start at zero, and I go up to 100. And I'm going up by ones. I hit enter again. and this will create a sequence of numbers 0 through 100. I want to store, click STO, I want to store that in the first list of a table. Hit enter, and that will be done. If I go to stat, I can see that by clicking enter on the edit list, and there's this is a list now all the way up to 100. In the second column, I go up to L2, and I'm going to click second, vars, and go back, and I'm going to do my uh, binome CDF here by clicking alpha B. And now I say, well, we've got 100 trials, and the probability of getting a head is still 0.5, but the number of heads I'm looking for at most will be listed in the first list. So I click second, one, for list one. Enter, enter. And now the second list is going to give me all the binome CDFs for these values in the first um, column. So I'll hit enter and I'll show you what I mean. We'll look at a couple of distinct values here. This actually took about 30 seconds or so. Um, and so here, I mean, it's hard to read this, right? It looks like 7 is the probability of the first one. But that's to the negative 31st. It's essentially 0, right? To get at most 0 heads. Uh, so that's 0 heads exactly, all tails. It's very unlikely in 100 flips. You've got to get a head somewhere. But if I scroll down here, let's get to let's go down to a little bit more reasonable value. Okay. So here was the value we just got for 40 heads. If you remember, you can see that here, 0.028, right? That value is right there. Go back, take a look. So um, this is getting the same value. So what it's doing in each row of this table is it's telling you the probability, the binome CDF, for the number of for at most the number of heads listed in the first column. So if I go down, let's say to uh, 47, this gives me the binome CDF for getting at most 47 heads. It's about 30%. So if I go down, at most 50 heads is 53%. At most 51 heads is 61%. Now so they keep climbing up until eventually I reach one because at getting at most 100 heads includes all the probabilities of the number of heads before. And already by 72, it's so close to 1 that it's rounding it to 1. Remember, we're saying what's the binome CDF where x is 88. That means what's the probability that I can get at most 88 heads? So that includes all the probabilities 
of getting less than 88 heads. The probabilities of getting zero heads are one or two or three or four, or at most five or at six or at most seven, all the way up to 88. That's why this is rising up. Now I can also see this in a graph. I can go to second y1. I can turn on my first stat plot here by hitting enter. It's already hovering over on, so I click that. I'm going to stay on a dot plot there. This dot plot is, gra is graphing L1 and L2, and I go to my graph. Now I don't see anything fantastic here, so I'm going to go to zoom and pick I think it's choice 9, which is zoom stat. But I'm going to scroll up and make sure. There it is. So choice 9 is for zooming around data with statistics, and there it is. So if I go to trace, I can kind of scroll along and see any input-output uh, pair that I want on this graph. Right? I can see it there. And uh, here is the probability of getting at most 52 heads. It's about it's almost 70% right there. All right, I hope this helped.